prove that if G is cyclic and generated by X, then G is also generated by the inverse of X proof. So we'll start by supposing that G is equal to the cyclic group generated by X. So suppose that G is equal to the cyclic group generated by X. And we have to show that every element of G is a power of X inverse. So take any little g in capital G. And then since g is cyclic and it's generated by x, there exists an integer which we'll call n such that little g can be written as x to the n. So the natural thing to look at is G inverse. So then G inverse is X to the N inverse. And this can be written as X to the negative N. And this can be written again as X to the negative one to the N. And this is in the cyclic group generated by X inverse. Now, this is a group. So since it's a group, it's closed under inverses. So since this guy is closed under inverses, and G inverse is in the group, then G which is G inverse inverse, right? The inverse of G inverse is also in that group. So we started with little g and g, and we showed that little g was in the cyclic group generated by X inverse. So this shows that G is contained in the cyclic group generated by X inverse. And the other inclusion is obvious. So G is generated by the cyclic group, uh, rather generated by uh, X inverse. And that is the proof. I hope this helps.